Yo, what's going on? This is Val Ramos. In today's DJ tutorial, we're going to discuss how to tag tracks using the tag list feature within Rekordbox DJ software. So the tag list feature is a very powerful feature because you can appropriately identify tracks almost like a brainstorming session ad hoc while you're playing your DJ sets. You can tag these tracks as possible tracks for play at later times. And then from these possible tracks, then you can better organize your thoughts and better organize your overall decision-making process to appropriately select the next track. So we'll hop into Rekordbox and I will show you my process for tagging tracks. Yo, what's going on everyone? This is Val Ramos. And in this tutorial, we're gonna discuss the tag list feature within Rekordbox DJ software. What you see in front of you is Rekordbox DJ software. And what we have are 30 of my own tracks because I have to use my own music for copyright reasons. And you will probably have some default shortcut keys within Rekordbox. One of them is Command Shift and L if you're on Mac, and this will switch to the tag list feature. Now, in order to show some of these lists up here, you're going to want to press this playlist palette. So you can show or hide the playlist palette, show or hide the playlist palette, and then press Command Shift and L, and then this will bring you to the tag list. You see the tag list here on the left, and then these are different lists that you could create on the fly here. But we're gonna be doing the tag list. And so this is the tag list and these are the other list. So with the tag list then, what you could do is lower this a little bit here to show some of these tag tracks. Now I have programmed a hot key or shortcut key to tag tracks. Now one way you could tag the track is just merely by right clicking on the track and then selecting add to tag list and then that'll bring that track to the tag list or what you could do is select the track and then use your pre-programmed hotkey or shortcut key so the key that i have decided is the most intuitive to me is going to be command and t t for tag so command and t that will tag that track now let's keep scrolling to find your track my my later tracks, new tracks, and in T. And then from here, now you now have tag tracks. So while you're playing your set, you can scroll and you can you can hide these tracks right here, show the tracks, and if you tagged enough tracks, we'll tag a few more tracks. Tag, 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 tag. Now you have this scroll wheel, you can go down and scroll these tag tracks. And then with the BPM, I'm gonna move John right here. I'll use it. My opinion, extraneous columns, you don't want to do that. Wanna know the BPM, you wanna know the key. You can then organize tracks by BPM, you can organize it by key, three Bravo, four alpha, these are the alpha numeric keys, and then you have this condensed and concise list of tracks that you think will work for the audience in front of you. And then rather than scrolling through all of your tracks, so in this case, this is a folder of 30 tracks, rather than scrolling through 30 tracks or X amount of tracks that you have in your actual crates, you can then just scroll through a concise list of tracks that you plan to play in advance. Now, another way you can use the tag list feature is you think of this like chess moves. So if all of a sudden you are making a shift in the, in the night and you know kind of where you want to go, maybe 10 to 15 moves in advance. Then in between transitions of tracks, you can then start finding these tracks and tagging them. So I think the tag list is very powerful. A lot of pro DJs use the tag list feature because it will help economize your workflow or will help you expedite your decision-making process. Because when you're getting to that peak hour of the night, it is all about making decisions as quickly as possible. And you need to be able to do this as efficiently as possible. And one of the ways to do this is with the tag feature in other videos i've described other methods to economize your workflow some of that is with this rating feature so you can see i have one to five stars one for a low energy track five for a five stars for a high energy track and then i also have colors to note the moods so with color you could use these various colors to describe the mood of that track so pink could be a very pop oriented track red could be a romance track orange could be a, an energetic track, yellow could be a happy track, green could be very serene, aqua could be a beat, kind of tropical theme song, blue, melancholy, purple, 
magical, mystical, etc. But this should be intuitive for you as the. Okay. But let's get back to the topic at hand, which is the tag list feature. So what I like about the tag list feature is this will economize your workflow and expedite your decision-making process. Because when you're at peak hour, you're typically playing these tracks for about 30 to 60 seconds, maybe 90 seconds. And you need to be oftentimes thinking about five or 10 tracks in advance and do this to the tag list feature, especially if you're playing an ad hoc or freestyle type of set. Tag these tracks and then sort the tracks that you think you want to play next, which will work for the audience in front of you. And this will allow you to use or make decisions from a much more consolidated list of tracks. So rather than scrolling through your entire crate in general, just scroll through this shortened tag list, this truncated list of tracks.